I'm here today for Dark Spiders 2, um, and we got to do something a little bit different than what we normally do, which is stunt school. The real life stunts going on in the next room are pretty darn cool, you know, kind of meeting your own death experience. I love THQ because they always bring something a little bit different to the fold, and this is something that has been really, really cool. Uh, commando rolls are vaulting all over the place. Uh, as you may have noticed, gamers don't really have the, uh, we're not the best physical specimens in the world, so anything that gets us breathing heavy is kind of a good thing, in the right way, of course. Yeah. They want us to feel like we're becoming deaf. And uh, we got to throw fireballs, which is happening behind me right now. It's pretty crazy. Over here in the other room, yeah, there was a bit, a bit of real life challenges. I'm not too good at real life, which is why I play a lot of video games. I did a bit of tumbling, a bit of, bit of cat roll and jumping and avoiding swords and stuff. Being able to ride despair was very nice today. Uh, yeah, it's great. Hack and slash, you know, getting in there, bit of Prince of Persia, sort of Assassin's Creed elements to it. Uh, the art style, I really enjoyed the art style of it as well. The art style in this game is, you know, obviously typically Joe Mad. You know, you look at Darksiders 1, we were kind of bound by Earth, and this time we're going to all the different realms. So uh, you can see that art style really bleeding through, and uh, it's a really unique experience. He's an ex Marvel Comics artist, who's the creative art director on the first one. And he has an eye for drawing monsters that not many other people who are designing games do. So that's why Darksiders looks so unique. He looks like a badass, and I'm looking forward to kicking ass with him. Uh, it's been pretty crazy. Uh, I like it a lot more than Darksiders 1, which is saying something because I really like the first one. A lot of, lot of differences with, with the second one. So, no, very, very much improved. They've taken everything that was great about Darksiders and ramped it up to 11. And for me, that's like, I would buy that game. I want to play that game. And I believe it's about 40 or 50 hours long, so well worth buying. Lots of fun, lots of fun. Hey guys, so we're finally bringing you Darksiders 2 here in Australia on August 16th. So go out and pre-order your limited edition today.